Hey everyone, Mucklet Douglas by Thought of Me, Reginald Esquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide on conditions in Guild Wars 2. Now let's get to the point. Conditions are this game's version of debuffs. They include DOT, that's damage over time for new folk effects, as well as various other impairments. Each condition has uses in both PvE and PvP gameplay. All conditions stack in either intensity or in duration. An example of intensity is bleeding, which stacks up to 1,000. 500 times, but the timer of the oldest stack does not refresh. So you just keep reapplying it as often as you can if you are doing a build based on condition damage. An example of duration is weakness, which simply gets its duration extended each time it is cast on a target up to a cap. Next up is a breakdown of each type of condition. Bleeding. This is simply a dot that does damage each second and stacks in intensity up to 1500 times. Note that I've never seen it actually stack that high, but I have seen a few hundred stacks on world bosses. Burning. It's the same as bleeding as far as mechanics go. It does damage every second, stacks in intensity up to 1500 times, but has a higher damage coefficient, so often does more damage than bleeding. Note, I said often, not always. Commonly used by firebrands and elementalists, but other classes have some access to it as well. Confusion. So I am Confusion. Confusion has two components. First, it does damage each second, just like a standard dot. This damage is typically quite low. Second, it will do much higher burst of damage to enemies that activate any skills or attacks while Confusion is on them. This means a fast attacking enemy can drain their own health bar rapidly if they do not stop attacking when they have this on them. In PvP, it punishes enemies who aren't paying attention. In PvE, it is very good against bosses with rapid attacks. Mesmers are known for having many ways of utilizing Confusion, but others have some access to it as well. Poison. Poison has two components. First, it does damage every second like a standard dot. Second, it reduces healing that hits the poison target by 33%. This is very useful in PvP as even a single stack of poison, no matter how weak it is, greatly hinders an enemy's ability to heal themselves. Thieves and rangers have lots of access to poison, with some on other classes as well. Torment. Torment does damage each second like a standard dot, but if the target is holding still and not moving, the damage increases dramatically. In PvE, this is useful on many bosses who don't move much. In PvP, to utilize this, you could follow it up with an immobilize to lock down the enemy player, causing the torment damage to spike upward. Commonly used by Mesmers, with other classes having some access to it. Vulnerability. Stacks in intensity up to 25 times. Each stack increases the damage the target takes by 1%. This works for power and condition damage. Vuln is very important in PvE groups, but also very common. Most groups of five will find they are keeping up max vulnerability on enemies without effort due to so many classes having access to it. Blinded. Blind makes your next attack miss, which causes it to essentially fail, but it still goes on cooldown. Blind stacks in duration, but still goes away after causing one miss. If you notice you are blinded, try to waste a basic attack to get rid of it, then proceed with your more powerful attacks after. Note, blind and all other conditions past this point of the video are considered a type of crowd control and do break bar damage in PvE. Chilled. Chill reduces movement speed by 66% and increases skill cooldown by 66%. Stacks in duration. While on you, all skills on cooldown will take much longer to become available again. Crippled. Slows movement speed by 50%. Stacks in duration. Fear. Interrupts an enemy's action and causes them to run away from the player who caused it for its duration. Necromancers have lots of access to fear. Other classes, a lesser amount. It can be broken by removing the condition or by using a stun break skill. Stacks in duration. Immobilized. As its name implies, you can't move your feet. Some Shadow Step type skills can still be used while immobilized, but depending on the skill, you may still be stuck to the ground after your teleport. Stacks in duration. Slow. This is basically the opposite of quickness. It reduces your animation speeds by 50%. Additionally, your dodge and movement speed is also halved. Stacks in duration. Taunt. Forces the victim to run towards you and spam their auto attack. That's the one key. They cannot move in any other direction except towards the taunter for its duration. Stacks in duration. Weakness. Decreases the rate of endurance generation. That's your dodge bar. So this is 
is like the opposite of vigor. Also, it turns half of all hits you do into glancing blows. A glancing blow does half damage and cannot crit. Stacks in duration. Expertise. One related item to talk about is the expertise stat. This increases the duration of conditions you apply to a maximum of 100% bonus duration. Expertise has largely been removed from competitive PvP gameplay, but it is still available in other game modes. One of the most desirable set bonuses for condition-based damage dealers in PvE is the Vipers set, which has power, precision, condition damage, and expertise on it. The condition damage and expertise most notably double up to increase the damage and duration of their conditions. Finally, it is worth noting that conditions can be removed or even converted into boons by some classes. If you or an ally remove or cleanse a condition, it disappears and that is the end of it. If the condition is converted, it disappears and is replaced by a boon, typically something considered the opposite of that condition. As a quick example, slow, which slows down your actions, being converted becomes quickness, which speeds up your actions. The engineer's trait, purity of purpose, is a popular example of this, turning any condition they cleanse from an ally into its opposite boon with a short cooldown. That's all on conditions for now. I hope this helps. Like and subscribe.